engaging in devotional service an essential subject from Vinaypedia women, merchants and laborers are not very intelligent, and thus it is very difficult for them to understand the science of God or to be engaged in the devotional service of the Lord. They are more materialistic, and less than them are the Kurtas, Hs, Mbras, Polindas, Polkas, Bhras, Kakas, Yavanas, Kasas, etc. But all of them can be delivered if they are properly engaged in the devotional service of the Lord. By engagement in the service of the Lord, the designative disqualifications are removed, and as pure souls they become eligible to enter into the kingdom of God. Srila Prabhupada's books, lectures, conversations and letters offer a comprehensive presentation of this essential subject as seen in the Vinikotes engaging in devotional service category. An introduction from his books is given below in the following eight quotes. Quotes from Srila Prabhupada's books one is called Gohinand and the other is called Bajan Nand. A devotee who does not preach but always engages in devotional activities is called a Bajan Nand, whereas a devotee who not only is expert in devotional service but who also preaches the cult of bhakti and defeats all kinds of agnostics is called a Gohinand. Kaitanya Karatam Ta, Antya LL 3.149, a devotee's body becomes at once surcharged with the transcendental qualities as soon as he is engaged in the devotional service of the Lord. It acts like the magnetic influence of a touchstone upon iron. The influence of transcendental devotional service is like that. Therefore change of the body means stoppage of the reaction of three qualitative modes of material nature upon the pure devotee. Our Mad BH Gavadam 1.6 28. The intelligent class of human being must take a serious note of this opportunity. Not all human beings are intelligent, so the importance of human life is not always understood. Therefore man I am, meaning thoughtful is particularly used here. A man I am person, like Maharya Parkeit, must therefore take to the lotus feet of Lord K and fully engage himself in devotional service, hearing, chanting, etc. of the holy name and pastimes of the Lord, which are all Harikatham Ta. Our Mad BH Gavadam 2.3.1 Anyone engaged in devotional service to the Supreme Personality of Godhead is known as a devotee, but there is a distinction between pure devotees and mixed devotees. A mixed devotee engages in devotional service for the spiritual benefit of being eternally engaged in the transcendental abode of the Lord in full bliss and knowledge. Our Mad BH Gavadam 3.27 27. A person engaged in devotional service becomes heartsick when singing the glories of the Supreme Lord. Because the Lord is very dear to him, when he glorifies the Lord's name, fame and so on, he becomes almost like an insane man, and in that condition he sometimes laughs, sometimes cries and sometimes dances. He continues in this way without even considering his situation. Teachings of Lord Kaitanya, Chapter 13, King Bharata after whom India is called B.H. Radhavar was also a pure devotee, and at an early age he left his household life, his devoted beautiful wife, his son, friends and kingdom just as if they were stool. This is typical of a person who has developed B.H. Va in devotional service. Such a person thinks of himself as the most wretched, and his only satisfaction is in thinking that some day or other K will be kind enough to favor him by engaging him in devotional service. Teachings of Lord Kaitanya, Chapter 13, How the K Consciousness Movement Can Attract the Attention of the Whole World and How Each and Every Man Can Feel Pleasure in This K Consciousness is stated in the Padma Pur as follows. A person who is engaged in devotional service in full Kaya consciousness is to be understood to be doing the best service to the whole world and to be pleasing everyone in the world. In addition to human society, he is pleasing even the trees and animals, because they also become attracted by such a movement. Nectar of Devotion 1. Atheists think that devotees foolishly worship a stone statue as God and an ordinary man as the Guru. The fact is, however, that by the grace of Kaya's omnipotence, the so-called stone statue of the deity is directly the supreme personality of Godhead, and the body of the spiritual master is directly spiritual. A pure devotee who is engaged in an alloyed devotional service should be understood to be situated on the transcendental platform. Our Mad BH Gavadam 8.3 2. 